All right, what's up guys? Today we're going to be talking about whether you should use EXT4 or BTRFS within your Synology NAS. So BTRFS and EXT4 are both file systems. They're basically how your Synology takes the files you put on there and saves them to the hard drives. EXT4 is a widely used standard for Linux and it can support massive files and it's really fast. However, it does not have the advantages that BTRFS has. So BTRFS is actually not even a Synology proprietary file system. It's actually incorporated in Linux, and so you can still mount BTRFS drives on a Linux machine. BTRFS works by storing files and deltas to those files. So say I take a file and I duplicate it on my Synology. Well, the file system would realize that that is just a duplication of a file. And so it would actually just say, oh, if you want that duplicate file, just look here. Then say I was to edit that duplicate file. It would say, okay, you're grabbing that duplicate file. So you grab the original file and you make these edits to it essentially. So it's really space efficient. Another really big advantage that it has are checksums in place for all data. Data on hard drives can get flipped due to magnetic issues, solar flares, and things like that. And so you can unexpectedly have data change on you. And if it goes undetected, those files can get forever corrupted just by one bit flipping. However, BTRFS has a metadata checksum and it across all of the files. And so you can set up scheduled scrubbing to check all of this metadata. If it doesn't add up correctly, BTRFS looks at all the copies of the metadata that it has and uses that to figure out which bit got flipped and flip it back, meaning it's actually self-healing. It's a really good feature for long-term storage. Another huge advantage of BTRFS are snapshots. If you use BTRFS on your Synology, you can enable regular snapshots that do not significantly increase the size of your file system. Basically, you can make copies of your entire Synology file system as it was at an exact moment, and then restore to that later on. And these copies are very lightweight. They're only storing the deltas. So say you were editing a photo and you turned out that you really didn't like it. You can go back to that photo two weeks ago and say, okay, actually I'm just gonna pull that out and stick it where it was before all without taking up that much storage space. Then if you want to run virtual machines, you have to have a BTRFS file system for them to be run on. And so you've got no other options for that. Overall, there are very few reasons why in this day and age, you should be using EXT4 if you have the option to use BTRFS. The only disadvantage it has is it's a little bit slower, but from my testing, I've really not been able to see much of a difference and it's just got so many great features for a file system that you have. It is superior in every other way and honestly just worth it. And so I would highly recommend setting up BTRFS when you get your new Synology. However, some of the cheaper models don't have compatibility with BTRFS and you've got to look at it and say, is this worth the upgrade? I think having the ability to take snapshots and things like that is just such a big advantage it is entirely worth the upgrade to a plus model from a J model. But you're going to have to take a look at it yourself and figure that out. All right, well, I hope this was informative. Go ahead and leave any tutorials you'd like to see me make in the comments below, and have a good one. Bye.